Hey everyone, it's Julie. I'm going to do a couple of quick vlogs today, but I'm not going to put them all together as one. Um, so this is vlog number one. Everybody knows that I um, was diagnosed with cancer on August 26th. I was diagnosed with a very rare, slow, it's slow, gro the tumor is slow growing. So that's why people are like, oh, you're going to be fine, you're going to be fine. Um, yes, I know I'm going to be fine. But what they didn't really realize is that it's not the tumor I'm worried about. The tumor's slow growing. I can live with that. That'll be okay. I'm fine. People live 10, 20 years with that kind of tumor. The thing that upset me was that I have ovarian cancer cells on three different organs. That's what they're worried about. That's what they're concerned about. That's why I'm getting extremely strong chemotherapy treatments. I'm getting the chemotherapy treatment that is for advanced stages of breast cancer and advanced stages of ovarian cancer. Um, my cells were microscopic, even still. It's cells that should not be on any of the other body parts. Um, so um, I owe Dr. D'Agostino my life. Had he not done my sigmoid resection, had I not chosen to do that, he would never have been able to remove my appendix. And he removed my appendix because it, they, it was in his way. Um, it was partially fused to my colon, and it was in his way, and he needed to get to the diseased part of the colons, colon, sorry, and needed to remove it. So um, he removed the appendix. Had he not done that, they would never have found it. I would not have gotten diagnosed probably ever because, guess what? There is, n nobody tells you that you can get ovarian cancer after you've had them removed. Nobody does. In the books that I've been reading, it's listed once in a half a sentence. And you have to search for it. I will try and find the page that I found it on. It took me a long time to read and to find that. I'm like, what? Are you serious? It's going to be my mission now to make women aware that even though you had a hysterectomy and the doctors tell you, oh, you're going to be fine. If you only have your cervix, then yes, you got to get pap smears, but you really shouldn't have to worry about anything else. They're lying. Get checked. Get informed. Because I didn't. I didn't know. Had I known, I would have been on top of this. Not that there's anything that I could have done, but I would have been a hell of a lot more prepared when I found out. I would have been like, okay, well, I knew it was a possibility. No. I didn't know it was a I didn't know that it was a possibility. And the most devastating part is not that I have cancer. It's not. I'm making a big deal of the cancer. Some people may think that I'm not, but I am. But the worst part was finding out. And that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was my daughter was in the office with The look on her face was just heartbreaking. No parent ever wants to tell their child they have cancer in the privacy of their own home. But to have that child with you in the doctor's office and find out that still breaks my heart to this day, obviously. Excuse me a minute. Anyway, um, done. Done with the woe is me part. That's my only woe is me part. Because it's heartbreaking. Anyway, um, so we're making it our mission to make women aware 
of what's not told after hysterectomy. So, um, if you're interested, I will be having, um, the NOCC, the National Ovarian Cancer Coalition, I think I just mentioned that, I'm not sure, but I'm going to be hopefully working with them somehow to make people aware, bring awareness, but, um, they are sending me a bunch of paperwork and stuff, and they're going to go from there with me, not paperwork, flyers, pamphlets, cards, all of that, I'm going to try and figure out how to doing this all on my own and I'm not very good at it so um trying to figure out how to do it but um I'll get there but on a plus note my daughter and I um are designing t-shirts maybe one one or two t-shirts and um they're going to be for ovarian cancer awareness and the one that I wanted her to design is um she made this beautiful flower for me, and I love it, and that's the flower that I want on the shirt, with, and in the middle, we're putting the uh, teal ovarian cancer awareness ribbon, and it's going to say, um, faith, strength, hope, courage, and love, but this is it. So, hopefully we'll be able to get that started. And the other one is going to be Disney-themed. Sorry. Yeah, I love Disney. But anyway, so um, that's it for this vlog. I'm going to do a couple of more before I go to bed. Ugh. Or hug the toilet one or the other. Not that you needed to hear that. TMI, I know. Sorry. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, leave comments below. Thanks.